Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, July 7, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we did pull back quite significantly earlier in the session, only to rally, but we're still a little bit down, roughly 0.30%. And uh, I probably this is just the beginning of this downfall towards uh, the middle of the bullish band, roughly around uh, 4,260, give or take. That's where most buyers will come back in and buy this up. If that were to break, then we have the 50 moving average down here at the 4,200, give or take. And then the very bottom of this range, roughly to the 4,150. If that gives away, then we're looking at a drop towards the 4,000. Probably long-term target here will be 4,400 uh, 4, uh, around that area, probably towards 4,500. However, technically, they are still bullish, but they are turning around. MACD is still uh, bullish above the second line. Stochastic is crossing the second line. CGI is uh, heading towards underneath 100, becoming bearish. And the RSI is still on the edge of being overbought and is turning around. So... Wouldn't be surprised if we have a pullback before going higher. Uh, but uh, yes, this was probably just the beginning of this. So let's look at Dow Jones. So Dow Jones really fell towards the 20 exponential and then rallied. And uh, very similar here. This is probably just the beginning of a pullback towards support in the middle of the bullish band. Uh, 34,200 and 300, give or take, that should be support. Underneath here, then we will have the bottom of the bullish band, roughly 33,555. If that gives away, then we are probably going to test the previous lows down here. But that is to be seen. If you look at technical indicators, they are showing probably a better sign what we should expect from the S&P the next uh, couple of days. MACD is still bullish, but it is leveling off. Stochastic is um, crossing the second line. The CCI is heading towards zero, and the RSI is uh, bearish at this current stage. So if we were to rally from here, uh, we need to take out these previous highs here of uh, 34,861 before going to the all-time highs. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ uh, pulled back a little bit. Uh, yeah, not a massive pullback. Did have a pullback and then continue rallying. So it is getting fairly overstretched. It has been for quite some time. And um, the higher this goes, well, the bigger the drop will be. So we'll probably look at something similar to this if this continues. And the reason why I say that is because our RSI is at 74 at this current stage and is considered significantly overbought. So we will have conditions similar to this when we, the RSI gets really high, roughly uh, towards the same level that we are at the moment. And we saw the drop towards the 50 moving average. That could mean that we could drop towards the middle here at the 14,300 or towards the 50 moving average at the 13,800, 900, give or take. 14,000 sh probably should be the bottom of this market. But if it really starts tumbling, then it usually can start to be uh, massively sold off like we saw here. So significantly also off and then rally, continue rally. We are still in long-term uptrend, but uh, when the conditions are as they are at the moment where they, uh, where we constantly rally, there needs to be a pullback a bit more and going higher. RSI can't go up forever. So other technical indicators are, of course, uh, significantly um, bullish at this point. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX doesn't really know where to go still. We are bouncing off basically the top of the bullish band, give or take, towards the 50 moving average. Today we fell towards the 50 moving average, but there are still there are technically warning signs that we could probably drop below the 50 moving average. And that could mean that we'll test these previous lows again, 15,300. That could be an area of interest. Otherwise, drop below there, then 15,000 will come into play and then significantly lower towards the 200 moving average. We're still in uptrend as long as the 50 moving average is holding, and then we are 
can we continue going sideways or can continue going up towards 16,000. But if this gives away, then 15,000 and then significantly lower. If you look at technical indicators, they are not favoring the upside whatsoever. MACD is bearish and stochastic is bearish now. CCI is bearish and so is the RSI. Look at long term for the DAX. We can see that we have a crossing here in the MACD long term. So we could see this tumble significantly before um, we see this going higher. So let's look at the UK FTSE. It's very similar here. Doesn't really know where to go. It is. It, it fell towards the 50 moving average and then started rallying. We are just at the middle of the bullish band right now at the 7,108. Drop below 7,100, then we could easily drop towards 7,000. That should be the bottom of this market. If 7,000 gives, then we're probably looking at a massive drop towards 6,750 and probably 200 moving average down here at 6,500 and 600 and 6,600, sorry. If you look at the, the technical indicators for the FTSE, we can see that the MACD is bearish. The stochastic is still is flat, but it's still above the signal line. The CCI is is uh, still bullish, but is heading towards um, uh, negative, and the RSI is bearish at this current stage. So let's look at the China 50. So this has really been battered to a crisp. It is um, it can a line up here so we need to break above this in order to go it's going to be higher we are having a crossing of the 20 exponential and 200 moving average uh, right now and 50 moving average and 200 moving average a crossing of those two is not that far off we're finding support down here at the 16,667 and uh, this looks like it could easily drop towards 16,000 probably also 15,000. This has completely changed. And due to the crossing here, probably if we rally, we'll probably get rejected at the 20 exponential and then continue uh, dropping lower. If you look at technical indicators, indicators they are looking dreadful. Um, MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, CGI is bearish, so is RSI. We are at the 35 at this current stage, a little bit room left to the downside uh, until we get to over oversold conditions but this is definitely not looking good. So we have an area here that we have tested in the past. If we break below this area, then we are probably going to 16,000 or 15,000. So yes, you can see the previous lows here. So hope you found this helpful. You're willing to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.